Hello everyone, it's time for the canyon showdown. We're there, we're nearly done. Yes. We're, we're sliding into home. Yes, we're the last safe. level. We're sports metaphor. Yep. <laughs> uh. I, I'm, I'm endlessly entertained by the just sudden cut out of those. I know, it's... I know, I, know I, say, I know I've been saying it basically every video, but I am just really entertained. But this is the same place we fought a fucking bird, isn't it? Um, no, actually. It's a it little bit different. like it. Because guess what we're going to be doing in this level? Hey, Tamil Plane. <laughs> it looks like the model of Tamil Plane, it does, honestly. It's, it's it does, const yeah. constantly flapping. <laughs> but uh, this level is fairly interesting in that we are facing up against Hopper, but we need to uh, get ourselves up around this level. So, we need to pick up seeds. <laughs> what a new twist. <laughs> I know, there's all, the only enemy in this level are also grasshoppers as well. That's expected, I guess. Yeah. And of course, there's all these various uh, canyon areas that we need to uh, get around, but we can kind of get around that by using the window, which is thankful. And it can do that. <laughs> They mean to land on it, God. The, the music's doing something weird there. What about the music? Like that. I'm not sure what, how to describe it, the little, the, the like, the constant noise. There's the, the beat in the background? Yeah, that thing. There's also the oh, bloop, 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 bloop of the uh, raindrops as well. Yeah, I know those are. I know that isn't the music. Yeah. You also would be pleased to know that the music in this level does not loop. Oh, good. It actually just constantly stays on the same track, which is good because the music in this level is really good. Yeah, it's pretty okay. It's... It's tense. Yeah. And I don't I, think it, I'm not sure if it deserves to be tense, but it is. Well, at the moment, I'm just a bit wandering around lost. Because I need to uh, find a specific part of the uh, bit, and of course I can't find it because I don't really know where. Because you don't have this... This level's all mapped out in your head already. Unfortunately, this is maybe like the third time I've played through this level, like, at all. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, I played I played this game once, and then I played it again for practice before I played each level. So, that's as much as I've played this game. Well, we, you know, it's been fairly brisk paced, so... Yeah. Yeah, I, I do know where I'm going for the most part. Because I do practice the level just before I play it. <laughs> this looks like it's going well. Yeah. <laughs> After all of this time, the mechanics are still not changed. Let's get up here. There's, there's a few goodies to get up top. So, where exactly is Topper drawing this? Um, he is by the um, by the kind of exit to this area. Basically, we right. need to get ourselves a super berry and also damage him because at the moment we've all got his red berries. So this is actually necessary to do. And once okay. we cause him enough damage, he'll then move to a new, another area. So this is a fairly large-ish level. And this is also when I really start using the uh, double jump kind of thing. It just gives me that little extra bit of distance. Yeah. And also I don't really know why I didn't get dandelion, but... Do that again. Wouldn't it just not work in the, air, in the rain anyway? No. I should, I should really stop trying to poke holes in this game's physics of all things. <laughs> and I tried to jump in by a fail. Sometimes that is, is a bit finic uh, pr pernickety. Yeah, I think that's the word. <laughs> As when you try and jump and it doesn't actually do that. So I know, but I'm not sure pernickety is a thing. I think it's a word. I don't. Fred, bring up English dictionary. <laughs> also, there's loads of super areas around here for some reason, even though we didn't do one, but whatever. Just in case you ever want to swap back, but. Yeah, we will, I wouldn't have been able to make that jump if I just jumped normally. I, if I, I need to do the uh, double jump. Yeah, I can, I can see a little bit of distance it's given. Are you sure this isn't somehow the canyon that we fought that bird in? Um, no, it does look uh, quite different, because uh, where we fought the bird was a very circular area, whereas mm. it's a lot more sprawled out. It, it is part of the canyon, definitely, which is important. But, uh, yeah. Oh well. A fairly bleak area which would be pretty cool. And also, somewhere in the skybox there is the move as well. Kind there, of. Oh, there it is. I don't think the move's meant to be that angle, but... No, it's only because of the, 
I didn't actually notice that before. Oops. Uh, the way that it uh, does that. But anyway, uh, I tried to get the hardest letter to get in the game, which requires us to uh, bounce around on the uh, dandelion things, and it's very tricky. But, uh... Is he throwing berries at you? Yes. White berries. Truly, this, which truly do this is a... quite a bit of damage, honestly. Truly, this is a duel between equals. Yes. And now we move on to the second area. It looks surprisingly light at first. Yeah, but this, this, this bit is the uh, third area that we're looking right. at now, so this is where the final showdown is going to be. There's the gold berry. So, what we need to do is there is a berry around here somewhere, a seed even, that we need to pick up, because it will be really helpful. Also, back up. Why do you still go out your way to activate those even though we've established the kind of... It feels like I'm doing something when I activate them. I don't know, I don't, I don't know why. I, I like the colours, alright? <laughs> no, instead of climbing up around all of these various things, we can just use the uh, windmill monster to skip quite a bit of it. Cool, I'm Cause in favour of that. Yeah, because otherwise you would have to jump between each of these canyons, and it's not the best idea. I've, I've, exactly uh, canyon, I've seen your attempt to jump already, so yeah. Yeah. We're just bits of the thing, and I think I'm a bit lost. But at least I had that marker to tell me where I'd already been. <laughs> okay, fair enough. They're validated. Yeah, that's, that's one thing, I guess. Now we're going to pick up the third thing. And this is what's actually going to save my life this entire level, because if I didn't have uh, this bubble, then I would have gotten a game over on this level. About maybe like four times over. But the uh, Hopper's White Berry actually uh, destroys your bubble in two hits. Huh. It's actually pretty damn powerful. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back and also get that other letter that I could get to. Because you could use the Dandelion also to go and over to it and it'll take a lot of tries. But this is technically easier. I've never actually done this before. I was just seeing if it actually worked. But uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to use Windmills to get ourselves up there. Also. Because this grasshopper will be the bane of my existence. But thankfully, even though this is going to take a while, because it is going to take a while, I have something oh, yeah. for editing. Editing magic. You will, you will be grateful that I have such a thing. I'm because always grateful for that. Looking, but I can reach that with uh, using just a windmill. So, we need to test that. I should be hit by a grasshopper. He's going to possibly be small, unfortunately, but I can't do anything about that. These locks are giving you some trouble, aren't they? Yes. I hit locks. But now we need to get ourselves a second seed. I think I see where this is going. Yes. And it's not going to take too long, apparently, so... Uh, all we need to do now is just get that, this seed up onto that canyon using that windmill. <laughs> And not get killed by that grasshopper again. Yes, because I'm missing two hits from uh, game over. Tension is palpable. It is. You know, if it's you hadn't said you didn't, you don't game over. Oh right, no. Yeah, I, 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 I totally game over. Yeah. Well, no, well, I, I, I might not. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I should probably get myself another problem. Okay, so, surf is all okay. cut. Now we just need to get the seed up onto the large block. And it takes a bit of time. Okay, so it's an angle. Nope. Nope, there I go. Nope, nope. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling the sped up music. I am too, actually. I do like it. <laughs> okay, now I'm one hit away from death. Okay, nearly, nearly, nearly. Nope, oh, die. Okay. Nope. Nearly there. Nope. Try again. There we go. For some reason it's putting me in mind of the of like the opening like bits of thriller. Alright. There we go. That is how you get the letter. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I know. Yes, me too. That's time for us to head all the way back. Oh, you were just you were just down on the editing today, weren't you? I know. 
I feel I feel like I really had to speed that up because that was just painful. <laughs> we also just show exactly what I went through. But basically now yeah. we just need to uh, go after Hopper. And that requires us, because he's going to be flying around various areas in order to, uh, and once we get, cause him enough damage, he'll then fly to another area. Okay. So we could, like, you know, jump all around and do all that kind of stuff. But this is just to use the, uh, and also he's really good at hitting you. He, like, snipes you from way across the map. <laughs> Sorry, snipes you from outside of the draw distance. Yeah, it's annoying. I think the draw distance is a bit shorter than it would normally because of my uh, legitimate PlayStation 1 player. Just one <laughs> I mean... Yeah, probably, actually. So, once again, not the worst draw distance I've seen on PlayStation. Yeah. I mean, you know um, the That's Tenchu spell. games? The what now? Tenchu. Uh, I've heard of them, yes. Yeah, they have pretty... Well, actually, I'm mainly going off of. Um, I played one on the PSP a few years back, and it had like about a draw, a draw distance of about three inches in front of you. All right. That was well, well, maybe like a Silent Hill game. <laughs> well, that was Silent Hill was clever. It, was, it used it to like make horror happen. Yeah. Just jumping around without a double jump, I would be seriously screwed. Because I did actually do, the first time uh, I did play this level, I didn't actually know about the uh, double jump. So, it, this, this, this area took me a long time. I am actually impressed. This game took me a long time when I first played it. <laughs> okay, now we are done with this bit. We're now heading into the final area. Up up top of this cliff is the bird. Also, spoilers um. for those who haven't seen the movie. <laughs> I'm... This is going to get all Donkey Kong in a second. In what way? In that stuff's going to come rolling at you. Uh, no. Oh. Nothing, nothing rolls, thank you. We're just going to ignore Hopper. Kind of we're just going to ignore Hopper for the time being because we want to get the gold berry. <laughs> because reasons. <laughs> Maybe because of the gold berries, that's reasons. Yeah. Over here we can find ourselves a seed. Always appreciate it, I guess. Yep. Problem is, in this part, if the seed goes too far down, we won't be able to get it back up again. <laughs> so we need to be pretty careful about getting to the uh, gold berry. Was that close? Hmm? No. Okay. Yeah, because if if if, if, the, if, the very, if the seed falls down here, then um, we pretty much it's it's going to be either a real big pain getting it back, or we're just never going to get it back up again. But are we now ready to, to yep. you know, bring we are, it in? We are going to end the game. The, le the uh, video is almost... Well, this level is almost over. The video is going to take a while. Really <laughs> this video just kind of goes on a while. Shush. <laughs> well, not exactly one squish. One constant pelting with berries. He doesn't, he doesn't actually, the berry is his own attack. <laughs> it's what grasshoppers are known for. Sure. It's like, I can't understand why they decided to go for what is kind of like a normal boss, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, they kind of went for a boss with your abilities. Well, I guess. Yeah. So that like, just constantly chases you, but he needs to be flying so he can get across the terrain easier. Yeah. But now that he's only got two pips of health left, he's now going to head up to the top. Oh boy, I wonder what could happen. Yeah, me too. There's the uh, bird. The bird doesn't give a shit about you. You're just not. Unless we got ourselves another seat up here just in case we can refresh our shield. And now we just need to uh, constantly hit Hopper. And as his health gets lower and lower... Oh, uh, 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 no, no, I'm on my last life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was wondering if the, you know, constant charging into you would make a reappearance. <laughs> as his health gets lower and lower, the bird gets closer and closer. I was going to say, if a bird kind of 
hovering in and out of existence. Ah, oh, Kevin Spacey, you can scream really well. Yay, we beat the game! Happy music! <laughs> <laughs> Boom, we, fed, we fed a man to a bird. Yes. And there we go. The game is over. That's not how caterpillars work. Dog's life was never meant to be accurate about actual bugs. I'm waiting for this to just randomly cut out suddenly. Yeah, this is a really weirdly long cutscene for some reason. Yeah, I'm still waiting for it to cut out abruptly. Yeah. But it is also pretty funny because this game came out one week before the actual movie was released in America. Okay. So it basically just spoils the entire movie. <laughs> you know, have no reason to go watch the movie. There's probably someone out there who had this as their first, like, introduction to the film. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's sad or hilarious. It was me. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I think I, I, I think I probably watched the uh, movie uh, before I played this game back when I was like eight or nine or whatever. <laughs> Whenever this movie came out. Yay! <laughs> Your winner. Yes. And that was a bug's life. What do you think? Ah. Uh, um... I'm gonna go with ambitious. Really? This game was I mean, ambitious. I kind of. I mean, it was ambitious to go for rather than make like a straight linear platform and go for big 3D open levels. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, movies around this time. Some of the games were made into like 2D stuff. Yeah, I mean, look at the um, Hercules game. Yes. That's just a straight 2D linear platform. But I think it's ambitious, but also. Shit. Ambitious, but rubbish. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. i got to say, I found this to be a fairly entertaining, uh, quite nice sort of animated adventure that I would recommend to kids of all ages, and indeed to adults. The game was shit. Watch the movie instead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, watch the movie. <laughs> uh, just got the video there. Yeah. <laughs> now we gotta, we've got to show the credits, I guess. Yeah, all these wonderful people who made this game. <laughs> Was that the so Randy Newman? Not was he the composer for the sit film and the game, or just the game? He he was the composer to the movie. Right. There there are people from Traveller's Tales who compose a, a fair few uh, video games themselves. Okay. That did the music. So, look at all the testers. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? Well, if I, the game isn't really buggy, so I guess they did the job. Yeah, just. Does no one at any point go, uh, this control scheme is terrible? Well, that wasn't really. I realised I just, I just said the game isn't really buggy. Yeah. Yeah.